working now. It looks like it's working now. Ah, good. Believe it or not, I wasn't muted. It just wasn't recording my voice for some reason. Let me turn that down a little bit. It looks a little loud. Indeed. Is that better? Can you hear me okay? Can you hear the game okay? <coughs> okay. Let's try this again. Hello, my little implings of beginning sinage. How are you? It is I, Miss Pyra. Slowly recovering from an illness. I return in the Witchwood. Copy, Fed, how you doing? No, oh, you're loud. Down a bit. Oh, yeah. We're digging up people's bones. To pickpocket other people. croissants today. How are you? Ooh, I love croissants. But I'm cheap and only buy the Pillsbury stuff. I am unwell, but not as bad as I was. Doing good. Just got an interview for tomorrow. Ooh, got something exciting lined up. I'm going to try very hard not to cough to the mic. As do I, copy. I... am kind of on the cusp of losing my voice, honestly. So I probably shouldn't be doing this. At bare minimum, I was like, oh, I should like stream The Witcher or something where I don't have to read out all the dialogue, but... This is what I wanted to play. Uh, a new job, the one you're in doesn't pay well. Understood. Double back on what exactly I'm supposed to do. Elf shoes, a sewing kit, gnome hat. Work in a warehouse at a printing place. Huh? <coughs> I mean, as far as warehouse jobs go, at least at a printing place, it sounds like it would be cleaner than like auto parts or something. to you, Fed. Just, you know, stay loose and casual and you should be okay with that. Alright. Right, 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 right. I remember now. I remember what's going on. So we have to get shells to be able to make the puzzle box, and the puzzle box is used to get the hat of the gnome. And to get the hat of the gnome, we need to give it to the gargoyle, because he's a fashionista. Rick. I mean queen. 
maybe both. But I can't get the shells until I make the pickpocket, and make the pickpocket thing, I can dig it up the bullets. That's that's what's been happening. I remember now. That thing. That's the hand. That's the hand I need. Perfect. Okay. Let's go back. Pickpocket some shells. Hello, dog. We'll come investigate that creepy place the man wants us to look at later. How handy. <coughs> handy indeed. Let's give it a try. Ooh. He had some money on her. Now the money is mine. Which way to... What's the rat? Yeah, that way. Hey, catch me. Too speedy. shells. Wait, now we can make the puzzle box. I can make a couple if I need to. But I can also... What was that? Oh gee. What the heck? <clears throat> that was a lot. That was a shell of a lot. I would say they all sell shells by the seashore, but they're actually all too cheap to do that, and very greedy. Instead, they hoard the seashells by the seashore. Go to the fields, please. The fuck? It's on my goddamn box. Give me that box. Very shellfish indeed. <coughs> well, you know, they all get a little bit crabby. They gotta share. Oh, goats. Need a one creepy little gnome. All the deals seem to be a bit fishy anyway. Oh, for fuck's sake. Give me that. But you gotta admit, you can get a net gain of some, uh, rape deals.
Oh. So it turns out the puzzle box just vaporizes them. <laughs> wow. I mean, I, I guess I shouldn't really be surprised. That's, uh... It's pretty standard, really, with this game at this point. I should know better than to question it and think that it would be entirely innocent. They're very interesting. Hey, the puzzle box. They're um as brutal as they are swift. Also supposed to be putting their pieces together again. Yeah, but it's also scavenger hunt because you gotta find all of them first. Here we go. Hey. Yeah, I just realized we've opened up all the pathways except up here. Hmm. Maybe the game isn't quite as long as we thought. Hmm. Look at image. How to get out of the box. Who knew the gnomes were also mimes? But you know, that's really why you shouldn't box yourself in. I know they say you better get things squared away. You gotta be a little bit sharper than that. Well, what are you waiting for? Fashion scene moves too quickly to stand around idle. Your shoes. You set the tiny footwear aside. Well, what are you waiting for? Your sewing kit. You tuck the sewing kit in a safe nook nearby. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and a hat. You set the little gnome hat nearby. As you present the handful of tiny clothing, the gargoyle lets out a grinding screech. Ha. Eee. Sorry, that's the size my voice can get right now. Sorry, excuse me. What? What's wrong? These are simply magnificent. <laughs> oh, this gargoyle's gonna be death of me. <laughs> the excited statue seems thrilled about the elf shoes in particular, which is why he asked for three pairs of them, even though he presumably only has two feet. You nearly gave me a heart attack. Don't seem what's so great about these things. They're barely the size of thimbles. Ignoring you, the gargoyle slips the minuscule shoes onto its wingling, wiggling toes. Oh, but aren't they just lovely? And they match my scarf. Well, I think you look ridiculous. Now tell me where the black sheep is, or I'll turn you to crap next. <coughs> Six toes. You know, it's like a three-toed sloth. No need to wrinkle up your rags. I carried her out to the secret grove in the woods to hide from the rain. You managed to save some of her stock as well. Since you've shown yourself to be no friend to the ram, I guess I could fly you out there too. The gargoyle flexes the heavy stone wings on its back. The stocky statue doesn't seem capable of flight, but you've seen stranger things. Yeah, let's go. Hmm. There she is. Oh. Ah, uh, stay back. The ram sent you to finish me off, didn't he? Oh, crackers. I knew I couldn't trust that cargo to keep a secret. Calm down. I didn't come to fleece you. In fact, I came to see why that miserable tyrant tried to bring you out of town. 
You glance around at the rescued rolls of patterned fabrics and balls of colored yarn. All because of this lovely textile. Need a water break. <clears throat> I never meant to cause trouble. I just want to make beautiful clothing. But the ram saw my work as some affront to his great vision. He wants us all to dress the same, think the same, be the same. But I don't understand. Why can't we be different? You get it? Because she's the black sheep. Did you? Did you get that? Did you get that symbolism? They're really subtle about it. <clears throat> the loudest voice is seldom the wisest. Tears well up in the sheep's wide-set eyes. They burnt down my wool shop and tried to kidnap me. I only barely got away. Yeah, did you see that food? Their symbolism is very subtle. <clears throat> it's small pupper all over again. Thankfully, that gargoyle was able to help salvage some of my things from the fire. At a time like this, knitting clothing is the only thing I can do to calm my nerves. Deems hydrate. Is that something I should do? I really don't know what to do with the point system. But how rogue covert. Welcome to stream. I hope I have enough yarn to last me. The poor spinning wheel was broken on the journey here, so I don't think I can make any more. A shame. I too am a weaver of sorts. A weaver of souls. <laughs> Your wheel can't possibly be beyond repair. Could I take a look at it? If you think it would help, be my guest. Shake it like a leaf. It's your spinning wheel. Oh, let's see. Spinning wheel, turning wood into yarn may not be actual magic, but some wool into yarn. I would say turning wood into yarn would be magic. That's only if there's a hot, uh, typo involved. Weakness is a restorative idol. This figure has so commanding a presence as to demand, uh, demand order of things disarrayed in its presence. This is its weakness, but that's clearly gonna fix. Ooh, a box. I don't think there's anything else. <clears throat> oh, he's got like buckets of dye here. She, I think she's supposed to be a she. That's what the doggo said. Okay. Necromantic charm. Make one of those. Which I can then use to make one of those. Oh, no, I need those. Two of those. Luckily, we've got plenty of stuff. So they pick up everything. Ta da Store. As good as new, a few splinters and some elbow grease, and she's all ready to go. Wow, really? Thank you so much. What can I ever do to repay you? I think together we should repay that stinking ram for causing this mess in the first place. I have an idea to knit him a cardigan he won't soon forget. Cardigan of death. <laughs> Why, a special gift. It's a lovely idea. But it will need a personal touch. Some wool collected from those dim-witted followers of this, his should do the trick. Hmm. Ram guards his flock like an ogre. Won't be able to get a single hair off them with him watching. That is a problem. Oh, there's that one in the grave. The graveyard. 
Oh, unless you find his missionaries. Sometimes the wren sends out his loyal sheep to spread the word. I swear, you guys, I just... I made this game, clearly. I predict everything. Except... Except the fish with legs. That, uh... That threw me. I didn't have a leg to stand on after seeing those. Why, well, I bet if anyone could find them, it's you. You found me, after all. He spouts his gibberish to the corners of the world. Where are these missionaries? Nearer than you think. They usually travel to the docks, the graveyard, and the market. <laughs> they, they really are fed. I, they, they tickle me. With their weird, spindly legs. <coughs> A shame they won't have the ram's protection. A darn shame. I've got plenty of fleets here, but if you have something special in mind, just put it by the spinning wheel. An amorphous elixir and a crypt crawler silk. Hmm. Okay. Well, I can make that. But for the silk, I think I'm gonna need that. I'm just gonna need that. Oh, I can go ahead and make that. Lucky me. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen the rest of these, Covert, but Witchwood is a fun crafting adventure game with both a childish sense of humor and also kind of dark. Kind of real dark. Okay. He's probably... No, because this is the village. Alright, let's head up first. Mm -hmm. Might have been visit Eeyore the Unicorn again. Oh, I don't have those. Well, that's a problem. Excuse me, madam. Have you heard about the ram? The one true leader? Oh, truly, I don't have the time for this. Just look at all these clothing stalls around us. It, it's revolting. So many patterns, they make my eyes water with rage. Oh, I'll show you some eye-watering patterns, all right. Look at a magic show ought to set you spinning. Restidigitation deck recipe. Give the old razzle dazzle. Over oh, box eggs. <sighs> crafting upon crafting upon crafting. Yeah. Gonna catch me some. More fish with legs. Speak of the devil, gotta go get him. Fish with legs. Even though part of him doesn't want it, I think Fed also still wants the fish with legs as a pet. He's just too excited about them to not want them as a pet. 
Yes, there it is. Crack code. Someone's aside. So I don't fucking fat finger, wouldn't I? I mean, that's hard to decide, Fed. I would have a hard time uh, controlling myself and not laughing hysterically. Hey. Although I guess that's why some people do get pets, just to laugh at them. Where's that? There it is. Shit. I'm all out. They'd be looking at you, alright. <laughs> Meanwhile, the uh, Junji Ito fans are trying to murder it. Screaming about the beginnings of the fish apocalypse. <coughs> you thought it was a simple fish, but it is I, Gyo! I sometimes got good jokes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to hop skip my way to the swamp. Some weeds. happened with caged I'm not entirely sure what I've only seen um, some messages in snakes discord about it but it looks like she's having a real rough time with it and apparently starting tomorrow from Wednesday through the whole week <coughs> um, while snake is streaming including like tomorrow's stream with Shay. Basically, they're setting up donations to help her out. So, if you got some spare change and some time, pop on by, give her some help. I'm sure she will be greatly appreciative, regardless of how much you can give. And if you can't, you can always spread the word to give her a hand. And I admit, I think that's, uh, that's part of why I also didn't advertise that I was streaming in Snake's Discord. Because I don't know if right now he's got that set up, but if he does, I'm not trying to take away attention from that. Because I enjoy streaming. I like it too, uh, relax a little bit, talk with people, but when I stream, it's not typically as uh, important as something like that. Oh, 
I see he's still doing swell. They're just the happiest couple. Oh, did. We'll see if I can. Yeah, like I said, if you can. If you can't, I'm sure they'll still be happy. Just see you hang out. <coughs> I mean, I'll be first to say it. It's always nice and good to want to help others. It's a bit pointless if you help others and put yourself out. Like if you don't have the means to do it. And you make it worse for yourself. It's just pointless then. Have I taken all the reeds already? Has this swamp ran out of weeds? I read? Is that a weed too, but... Oh look, he's back up. He's doing fine. <laughs> okay. I guess I've taken everything. be okay for skipper scales. Maybe. We'll see. Trowel. You trowel for everything. Oh, a little chicken. There you go. Easy pickings. I gotta admit, I enjoy the sea shanty background music here. Stinks around here. No breath. Maybe cut back on the cabot. Crabgrass. Fish with legs look like shrimp with how their tails are. Fish, chicken, shrimp. <coughs> Forbidden turducken of the sea. Horror, horror, very funny. I'm talking about all these mismatched folk walking around like disgusting individuals. Don't they care about unity at all? Aren't they lonely? Don't they want to be part of something bigger? How- how will they not fall to the brim with pure horror of existential dread? You leave the sheep to spiral deeper into his own metaphysical pit. Hmm. This phone seems to be projecting some deep-seated issues. Perhaps if I give him a little push, he won't mind if I pill for some of his wool. Oh. Bottled Despair. We're gonna send this sheep into the ocean with rocks in his pocket. Ah, yes. Ah, Alright. Come back for you. Oops, excuse me. So I need to go for the market, right? 
Yes. Northward. <coughs> Don't mess with me, I'm a witch on a mission. On many missions. So many missions. Wow. The sheep goes cross-eyed at the blinding display of pure medical speculation. Spe yeah, speculation. So you shuffle the deck of enchanted cards. Ah, it's so, so. Ah, I can't see. That's right. Keep your eyes on the pretty colors while I shoot you bald. Before the sheep can recover his eyesight, you snip a healthy patch of wool from his backside. Heck, I can see the colors even when I close my eyes. Out of my way, I can't preach like this. I must go back to the flock. You see, because they have to see everything in black and white. Eh? Eh? So many missions and so many traps to lay. So many pockets to pick. So many little creatures to explode. The swamp? And the graveyard. I'm gonna try the graveyard. this regardless of where I go. Go back to the graveyard. Or more bones. Also need that spider silk. So... Use that. Oh, who's there? Show yourself in the name of Ram. No need to be jumpy, my friend. I'm just a lonely old woman coming to grieve. Oh, I thought you were one of those nasty ghosts. Usually this place is pretty dull, but lately there's been nothing but angry spirits. Glances over her shoulder in a near panic. Oh, why did the ram send me here? This place gives me the creeps. You scratch her cauldron in the thought as the sheep jumps out of the nearby patch of mist. Hmm, looks like all I need to do is give this chap a good fright and his wool will be mine for the picking. Haunted mannequin recipe. I think that would scare most people. Scare the wool off most. <coughs> That's a lot of, I don't even know, ectoplasm, mummified head, and a yol. Maybe the doll, at least. I'm gonna lay some significant traps for the rest of this. Right, let's go... Spirits. Oh, I'm stuck. Healing powder, spirit salts, set that aside for now, spritz, thank you.
We got the bones. No big deal. Just what a dog do. An ectoplasm? I wonder what gives ectoplasm. Wrong button. A memorial, a lovely sign that marks this resting place. <coughs> Didn't know that was so important. Anyway. No. Shit. Weeping Spectre. Soon. How many more rocks for that? I'll get back to that. First, the crypt. This crypt. I need to investigate the spiders. Let me care for them. In the darkness, they pretty much look the same as anything else. Whoa. Like that. Ooh. Smooshy. Smooshy, smooshy. Nice. Jug of water. Excuse me. That oh, ghost really didn't give a fuck about me. Exorcism charm. Back wings. Fuck the bats. Circle. Okay, I've got that thing. Jug of water. I picked up a jug. Spiders sound like a seagull. I mean, we know the docks are a little bit weird. They clearly got some sort of weird breeding thing happening. Let's take a listen. Seal. <laughs> well, you guys really need to liven up around here. <laughs> no, that's an offensive joke. Which is why it's funny. You know, taking a look out here, you can actually see, um, the constellations. Which means this isn't just like a hub, like we're out in the astral space. Or is it a reflection of astral space due to 
bibbity bobbity magical bullshit. Who knows? Who even knows? Market? No. Alright, where am I? Oh, perfect. So we go right down. That was what I needed, right? Yeah, because of that. Craft. Craft. Right, let's go uh, send that sheep to his death. Just a sheep. Be replaced. Yeah, it's fine. Can you catch me? And the Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga can be caught by petty mortals. Unless you take a rowan branch and swipe it across her feet three times. That's not true, it just sounds like this. Sheep's eyes glaze over as he looks deep into his soul and sees only nothingness. Abayaga's bird. A free bird. What's the point of it all? I... I'm so alone. Poor fella. He'll feel better when the curse loops, but it'll be too late for his wool. Snip snip. You collect a clump of wool and pat the sheep on his fluffy head. There, there. Things aren't always so bad. Why don't you run off home to your flock? You're right. Maybe I'm not so alone after all. The sheep wipes a dewy tear from his face and lopes off towards the village. <coughs> Look, see? He's fine. He's not gonna walk into the ocean. He's just gonna throw himself down the well. It's fine. Ectoplasm. Which means I only need one of these. One of those. Gonna try this first, I think. So it's gonna be easier to make. I'm gonna use a couple of racks. I'm just gonna go this way for. This way? Where's the village? There we go. Just gotta dig up more of the roads. It's not like they give a shit. No. This cat deserves a treat. I have no fish. It's an elf. It's a smelly elf. It's a fucking smelf. Bloody smelfs. All over the flipping town like a plague of rats. Like five layers of stuff you need to make. I know. That's what happens in crafting games. You get the hang of it and then it's like, oh, well, you're doing too well now. Gotta make you work for it. Oh, it's the mansion, I see. Any stones here? I don't think that. I'm gonna go back for that. <coughs> You're basically stuck in like the crafting pyramid where you gotta craft, 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 craft all the way up. So you get exactly what you need. Hello, Bella. He's still very pup set. Now hopefully that works. It gives us the ectoplasm because I don't know where to get back. Wait, do I? Oh. 
No, I don't remember seeing bats yet. So far. No, no. Right, let's go find us a ghost to settle the fuck down. Ghostly grasp. As long as one carries the light of the living, these hands will not recede. Oh, so I have to appear dead. I am. Is that you saw a bat? Or you're hoping to see a bat? This ghost is just hanging around. Oh ho! Another offensive and wonderful joke. Oh. <coughs> I'm choking on my own jokes. Oh, there were bats. Where were the bats? Crypt or the cave. And by cave, I think I mean under the well. <laughs> Start at the graveyard. Did I miss it? I blinked and I missed a bat. Ooh, boo, 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 boo. I would imagine I'd probably catch them like I do birds. So let's give that a try. Small and fast. Alright. They're not close enough up here, I don't think. Hi, Kappa. How it goes? Uh, I'm currently trying to puzzle through how to capture a bat. died in XCOM, but that's not new.
But do go on, Kappa. What, uh, what exactly happened in the next column? Maybe there's gonna be bats in the mansion. Like, capturable bats, as opposed to atmospheric background bats. Yeah, I died. I heard, um, did I even make it through the one mission? Because it feels like I didn't. My bad position. God damn it, Shay. Wait, that's bad. Wait, that's bad. God damn it. Damn it, Shay, you're so bad at chess. Oh shit, how do I get that bat? Small and fast. That's why I, I'm not sure if those are bats that I can capture. Or if they are just decorative background bats. Let's go. I'm gonna go to the mansion just in case. Just to see. Crows. I'm looking for crows. Maybe door. There's something enticing here on the ruination. Dare to enter. I find it funny that in Shay's uh, darkest dungeon, I made it pretty far. I almost made it to the final boss. Meanwhile, in XCOM, it takes a century before I'm recruited and I die on the first mission. There's just so much of everything. Dangerous if you're asleep. That one knows. Oh, I get it. I'm gonna kill the bat with a steak because it's a vampire. into a death mission. Hmm. So, very par of her course, unfortunately. do without copy. He would die. Terrible. Let's see if this one works. Uh -huh. I am so smart. Alright. Scare the bejesus out of this. 
horrified. The skittish shape nearly jumps out of his pelt in horror. Aye! That's my chance to share his wool before he comes back to his senses. I quickly snip a handful of wool from his quaking body. Forget this. I don't care how angry the ram gets. I'm going back to the flock. Yoink. <coughs> you watched the VOD last night? Yeah. Jay wanted to play hard mode, so he got hard mode. Oh yeah, the spinning wheel. Go back to the village. Betting that Copy's not gonna make it to the end. I foresee Copy will wind up dying like, right before the final boss. Oh, hi! Did you need to lift out of the secret grove? <laughs> Sorry, Copy, but it's kind of like the mod curse. If you make it at all one of Shake's playthroughs, you'll last until the final boss. As strong as it could happen, it could. It's a curse. The three lots of wool taken from the ram's flock are the most eager to please any hand that guides them. A metamorphosis elixir will really make the get these garments pop. And the crypt chrome silk. Crones walk the line between the mundane and the supernatural. And their silk holds the key to that boundary. I was gonna say they're awful big to walk a boundary. But wolf spiders exist. So maybe they're not that weird. My curse is any character named after me dies very quickly. You should name them Fed Don't Die. 72. That'll do it. That'll fix your curse. I should know, I'm a witch. By witch, I mean hell out, but... It is the same thing. With all the goods at hand, you wave, you wave the black sheep over to the spinning wheel to get started. A bit stiffer than I'm used to, but I can work with this. <coughs> They're stiff because of all the rules they follow. She rolls up her sleeves and prepares the bobbin. As the black sheep manages the wheel, you assist by weaving your own magic into the fibers as you feed them through the device. Dazzling colors of every hue shoot out of the whirling wheel, sending sparks dancing into the underbrush. Soon a large ball of rainbow-tinted yarn is wound together. Wow, we didn't have to use any dye. I could use your help anytime. She gathers up the yarn and admires it before handing it to you. As the rising colors seem to dance across the threads, take them or blind the ram. My thanks to you, I couldn't have done it without your skills at the wheel. Say, so, you should think about returning to the village soon. Your little donkey friend was quite worried about you last time I saw him. Oh my gosh, I was in such a panic, I completely forgot about him. Oh, but what about the ram and his flock? I'll be a god if I go back there. Oh, you leave that to me. Oh, I am so sorry. Dying. Anyway, we got the magic yard. So brilliantly spawned us to drown out and drown us wherever it may be. I just taking this to the ramp. Yeah. All right. We'll weave him a wicked web of psychedelic colors. 
cannot fathom. Color is parasit of vision, and division is the bedfellow of damnation. <laughs> you twist the length of your multicolored thread into a makeshift lasso. The shifting colors make the thread appear to be a lie. What nonsense. I'll just loop my magic yarn around each of these sheep and show them the world is more than black and white. I told you. <laughs> oh my god. Embrace the colors. Embrace them. Stopping in the middle of his sermon, the ram notices that his flock is no longer paying attention to him. The flock turns away from the ram's ravings, fully enraptured with a colorful threat. Wait, what are you fools doing? This is the black shapes at work? Wow, we just assumed it was ugly because the ram said so. No, you idiots, it's wrong. Have you forgotten everything I've thought? Ah, uh -huh, look at all these wild colors. I never knew it could be so neat. Stop looking at the colors. Amongst the commotion, the voice of the black sheep pipes up. Oh, um, thank you. I'm so glad that you all appreciate my handiwork. <coughs> Are you kidding? This is the most amazing one we've ever seen. Why can we get more? Stop. Listen to me. Oh wow, look at all these customers. We need that shop of yours up and running again. All right. Oh my, this is all so overwhelming. Looks like it's time to roll up my sleeves and get back to work. Does that mean you'll be opening our wall shop? We'll help fix it up again if it means we can get more of these fantabulous colors. Ram swings his bronze bell harder and harder, desperately trying to be heard over the joyful celebrations of his flock. <laughs> he got so mad, he just evaporated into his bell. Oh my, what the dickens happened? I guess he claimed that awful melody is just a little too hard. Give his own head a proper ringing till it couldn't take any more. You glance over to the ram's empty soapbox. A fitting end, I suppose. A shepherd is nothing without his flock. You pick up the bell, but not a sound emanates from it. Something is muffled. You turn it over to look inside and find that the metal clanger is covered in a familiar bristly white wool. Soul of the Ram. Quest complete. Okay. Who's next? Who's next on my list? We go for the rat? Yeah, we go for the rat next. I think I do have to call it though. But my voice is just gonna give out. Well, what a nice, happy end to collecting a soul, you know? You made some prismatic sheep. She's got her business thriving again. The Bow Wow is no longer pupset. <coughs> and maybe next time I stream, I uh, will be able to read properly. We'll find out. Still, I'm glad I got to stream a little bit. It's been... A while. It's been too long.